welcome once again to Science Pundits. Okay, so today I'm going to be telling you more about the contact process. I'm going to be telling you more about the contact process. Right, contact process is the manufacturing of a sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is an acid, and how do you define an acid? An acid is a proton donor, and an acid has got pH which is less than 7. So sulfuric acid is one of the strongest acids that we have. Okay, without wasting much of your time, let's get down to the business. This question might come maybe getting like 8 marks, 4 marks, depending on the level that you are studying and on the syllabus that you are studying. But the knowledge is generally the same. Right, it is in stages. Stage number one is the production of sulfur dioxide. So the raw material is sulfur. So stage number one, sulfur is heated in the presence of oxygen to get sulfur dioxide. As simple as that, sulfur plus oxygen to get us sulfur dioxide. So you're supposed to have excess oxygen and then your sulfur, then you get sulfur dioxide. On the stage number two is the production of sulfur trioxide. So here you have got sulfur dioxide, you react it with oxygen to get sulfur trioxide, right? So this process, you must have what we call the vanadium pentoxide catalyst. The vanadium pentoxide catalyst, right? You must also have your temperature, which is around 450 degrees Celsius. So just like the Haber process, you have got your temperature 450 degrees Celsius. However, it can be 450 to 500, but most preferably, it's 450 degrees Celsius, right? And then, uh, you're supposed to have your pressure here. In this case, pressure is just one atmosphere. And another thing that you must know how to do is to balance this equation. Right here, we've got uh, our sulfur. And so you're just supposed to put half there. If you put half, now we've got three oxygens this side, three oxygens, one sulfur and one sulfur then the equation is balanced. So this is stage number one, production of sulfur dioxide. Stage number two, production of sulfur trioxide. Right. Long ago, when this process was done, people would just, remain, uh, would just mix sulfur trioxide with water to get sulfuric acid straight. But it was now discovered that sulfur trioxide, when it is mixed with water, it produces poisonous fumes which were leading to death of many workers. Hence, it was now advised that whenever you want to make sulfuric acid, you must make what is called oleum. Right. Oleum is a mixture of sulfur trioxide and concentrated sulfuric acid. That is what you call oleum. Right. After making oleum, that which will be uh, sulfur, sulfur, trioxide plus um, H2SO4 to give you H2SO7, right? That will be your oleum. After having your oleum, now you must uh, have what you call the dilution stage, right? In the dilution stage, you will simply mix oleum plus water to get your sulfuric acid. Right. So in stages, the first stage is sulfur plus oxygen to get sulfur dioxide. Secondly is sulfur dioxide plus oxygen to get sulfur trioxide. Then st third stage is to get oleum, which is sulfur trioxide plus sulfuric acid to get um, your oleum. Then the final stage now is the dilution stage, which is oleum plus water to get sulfuric acid. Right. So sulfuric acid is a very important acid. It can be used in many uh, in many chemical uh, chemical equations, like in organic chemistry. It is used as a condition. It is used as a reagent. It is used uh, in the manufacturing of paints. So it is used in the treating of other metals. If you want to make uh, copper sulfate, you also use this sulfuric acid. So it is a very 
a good acid and it's a very strong acid its ph is around one to two that means that means it is a very strong acid okay that's it for today please if you think that you are going to like this uh, we would like to have you we would like to teach you more questions if you've got more suggestions and if you need more topics please request the topics on the comment section and we are going to make sure that the next time we upload the video it is going to be your own favorite topic and anything that you want to know have a lovely day